Вещества, отфильтрованные в межклеточное пространство, вместе с плазмой крови образуют лимфу. Она насасывается слепыми окончаниями лимфатических капилляров, сливающихся в лимфатические сосуды, которые открываются в вены. Таким образом, в вены возвращается жидкость, которая профильтровалась через стенки кровеносных капилляров в окружающие их ткани. Движению лимфы по лимфатическим сосудам способствует давление жидкости, сокращение мышц и движение органов, окружающих лимфатические сосуды. Эти редкие кадры показывают, что лимфа движется благодаря ритмическим сокращениям стенок сосудов. Следующие кадры показывают действие клапана, открывающегося только в одну сторону.
The adrenal glands are part of the endocrine system, which regulates hormone levels in the body. They are small pyramid-shaped glands that rest on the top of each kidney. The adrenal glands produce a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol has many functions, but most importantly, extra cortisol can be produced to help manage the effects of infection, trauma, and emotional stress. In this instance, otherwise healthy tissue in the knee is seen as infectious and is attacked by the body's own white blood cells, causing painful inflammation. Sometimes, however, even the extra production of cortisol does not adequately control the immune system response. Corticosteroids are drugs that can be inhaled, given orally, topically, or by intravenous or intramuscular injections. They are synthetically produced hormones that are very similar to cortisol. They block white blood cells from attacking the tissue and decrease the inflammatory causing substances these immune cells produce. Corticosteroids are frequently used for treatment of inflammatory and autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, and certain respiratory disorders. The adrenal glands located on the superior aspect of the kidneys are responsible for the release of several hormones. The adrenal medulla or inner portion secretes epinephrine and norepinephrine into the bloodstream in response to stimulation by the sympathetic nervous system to produce the body's fight or flight response. The adrenal cortex secretes glucocorticoids that respond to stress by increasing blood glucose. It also releases mineralocorticoids that maintain electrolyte balance by acting on the kidneys. The innermost layer of the adrenal cortex secretes small amounts of sex hormones that resemble testosterone. This animation shows how your thyroid gland can become underactive, causing a condition known as underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism. Click the navigation arrows below the animation screen to play, pause, rewind or fast forward the animation. Here we show the position of the thyroid gland. Your thyroid gland produces two hormones. These hormones are called triiodothyronine, or T3, and thyroxine, or T4. The two hormones are released from your thyroid gland and enter your bloodstream. They play an important role in controlling the rate of metabolism, the chemical reactions that take place in your body. The amount of the hormones, T3 and T4, that your thyroid gland produces is controlled by the pituitary gland, which is in your brain. Your pituitary gland produces a hormone called thyroid-stimulating hormone, 
or TSH. TSH stimulates your thyroid gland to produce the thyroid hormones. An underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism is most often caused by a problem in the thyroid gland itself. It can also occur because the pituitary gland isn't producing enough TSH, but this is less common. Your symptoms will depend on how much of the thyroid hormones your body is producing. You may not notice any symptoms at first. As your thyroid gland becomes less active, you may begin to feel more tired and put on weight. Some types of underactive thyroid can cause a swelling in the neck. This is called goiter. Here we show what goiter looks like. Not everyone who has an underactive thyroid will have this neck swelling. This is the end of the animation. Click on the animation screen to watch it again.